Mrs. Peacock was appalled by Mr. Body's decision to sell his house to a gang of misfits from goodness knows where. Think what they would do to the property prices. Anyway, he had no right to do this to her. She had expectations herself in the direction of Mr. Body. The temptation to do something about Mr. Body arose later that evening. Mrs. Peacock was in no mood for company, so she headed for the ballroom. As soon as she went in, she saw the wrench lying on the floor where Professor Plum had dropped it earlier. Nobody had been to remove it. Mrs. Peacock picked up the wrench and went looking for Mr. Body. She found him in the hall, and he greeted her as if they were the best of friends. Would she care to take a glass of something with him in the lounge? That did it for Mrs. Peacock. Mr. Body turned his back on her, and that was the last mistake he would ever make. Perhaps in the heat of the moment she didn't notice the blood stain on the floor, or the blood on the wrench. She never tried to get rid of them. All she did was to use a tea towel to remove her fingerprints from the wrench before she hid it on top of the plate rack in the kitchen.